So, you want to be greatest, most powerful hunter to ever grace this world of monsters? Fuck! So, you want to wake up a monster with the single greatest hit in the entire game with your massive great sword? You don't have any friends and nobody to put the monster to sleep for you, so you can use your great sword to wake them up with your true charge slash. Fuck! Well, you're gonna have to get a lot better at doing this shit. Ha! Got him! What is going on guys? Cooked here bringing another Monster Hunter World video and I'm sure as you can tell from that intro there we are going to be looking at my Greatsword Sleep Set from the new Terroth weapon. The Sleep something Greatsword? I forget what it's called. Um, but yeah this is an awesome set. It works naturally really well together obviously because having the single greatest you know one hit attack in the game and being able to sleep the monster to get that double damage as well is obviously a you know surefire way to murder things so uh, as far as the play style goes you know it's just like any other great sword really except for you're gonna throw on your apothecary mantle here and try and sleep the monster as many times as you can to get that double damage hit on them then you want to once the monster does go to sleep you just look for bombs if you have any Clearly, I do not. <laughs> After that, you want to measure out, you know, where the monster is with your sword and then it just dodge back to try and get that double hit on him for the true charge slash. And that's how it works out, basically. Now, <laughs> as you've seen from the, from the first part of the video, I'm not very good at this. Sometimes, you know, the terrain or whatever kind of affects where your true charge slash is going to hit. But, uh, you know, if you practice a little bit, more than I have, I'm sure you'll get her. If you play Great Sword a lot, I'm sure you'll know how to do this pretty effectively, and it'll be a great build for you. Even if you don't, you can always just charge up that first hit there, and it does double damage, which is nice. You know, like free 600 damage on the monster's head is not too bad. So let's just take a look at the build and see what we have going on here. So yeah, we have the Teroth Blaze Sleep with pretty good stats, has decent attack there 450 sleep element a level 3 gem slot and defense and i put the health regen on it which is 100 percent necessary because we do have the peak performance on this build as you can see we have our unscathed charm too then we have our dragon king eye patch alpha we've got our cold Taroth chest piece for the two points in the stun resistance and two points in the crit boost we have our kaiser van braces beta for the weakness exploit cool Taroth malice beta for the point and two free element and handicraft and then lastly, we have our Kieran Light Guards Beta for the two points into free element slash ammo up and the two level one gem slots, of course. Now, as far as the mantles go, I would definitely run the Apothecary Mantle and the Fanny Booster. Taking a look at the decorations that we have here, there are quite a few rare decorations. So, you know, you might not be able to build this, but you can swap in a lot of these things for other things that you may have or something that you might find useful. But we've got a critical jewel. We have two mighty jewels slotted in. We've got a steadfast jewel for the stun resistance, our flawless jewel for the peak performance, and then three sleep jewels just boosting our sleep attack and boosting the sleep buildup. So taking a look at everything, we're at 1080 attack. We have, you know, it's still a decent bar of blue sharpness, 20% affinity, which gets pushed to 70% with the weakness exploit. Um, and bringing it all together, we have stun resistance three, sleep attack three, free element three, critical boost three, weakness exploit three, peak performance three, maximum might two, and handicraft one. So um, yeah, I mean the health regen, again just touching on that is I feel 100% necessary. I wouldn't put anything else on this build. You know, the, the affinity and the attack that you get from this is not going to you know, give you the same returns as if you have peak performance on, because or if you have the health regen on because of peak performance. You know, like getting your health back, especially with the great sword, since you're doing such high damage numbers, you get huge chunks of your health back. Let's you stay on the monster and let's you keep that peak performance up as well. 
And the reason I put peak performance on this build instead of, you know, like a an attack boost or something like that is because on your true charge slash when you're waking up the monster, you know, you're always going to be able to top off to full health before you hit them with that. But uh, yeah, so I decided to go after a tempered Rathalos here. He, uh, I get two nice good hits on him, so I figured I'd go with that gameplay. Now, I just wanted to touch quickly the next video I'm putting out is going to be a viewer submission so if you guys wanted to um, you know submit your sets I can you know if I like it I'll make it and I'll make a video on it but uh, yeah just leave your sets down in the comment if I start getting you know more people submitting stuff then I'll set up like a dedicated place where you guys can post those but for now just put them in the comments and I will see what I like and hopefully your build will get a video so yeah this has been cooked and I'll see you all in the next Stacy episode